Emirati Canu's four-match winning streak was ended by Iga Swiatek at the Porsche Tennis Grand Prix as she fell to a valiant defeat to the defending champion in the quarter-finals. Rajakanyu had earned straight sets wins over Angelique Kerber and Linda Noskova across the first two rounds, following two victories last week in Great Britain's Billie Jean King Cup clash with France. The 21-year-old impressed against world number one Sviatek as well during a 7-6, 7-2, 6-3 loss, breaking in the first game of the match having been 40-0 down, and it was only in the first set tie-break when she was outmuscled as Sviatek took it. The pole then broke Rajakanyu in the first game of the second set and engineered further break points in the Britain's next two service games that she was unable to convert as her opponent dug deep. However, Sviatek went on to clinch victory with a second break in the ninth game to set up a Saturday semi-final with fourth seed Elena Rybakina as she chases a third consecutive title in Stuttgart after beating Arena Sobolenka in the previous two finals. Rajakanyu's two wins in Stuttgart have propelled her to just outside the world's top 200 as she continues her comeback from ankle and wrist surgery last year, operations that led to the 2021 US Open champion spending eight months on the sidelines. The way she matched Sviatek at times, and how she dispatched a former world number one Kerber and this year's Australian Open quarterfinalists Noskova earlier in the tournament, bodes well. Sviatek, who took her head-to-head -head record against Rajakanyu to 3-0, said afterwards, it was a pretty intense match. I was happy that I was able to keep the intensity even though we played some tough games for like two hours. It wasn't easy. I had a lot of break points which I didn't convert so still I'm happy that I could finish it with a better score in the second set than in the first. There are a lot of factors coming in if you want to stay consistently at the top but I hope, Rajakanyu, will be able to do it. For sure she has the game but it's not easy. Sviatek also beat Rajakanyu in the quarter-finals in Stuttgart in 2022, as well as in the last 16 at Indian Wells last year. Elsewhere, Wimbledon champion Market of Vondrausova came from a set down to beat Sobilenka 3-6, 6-3, 7-5 and will now face Coco Gore for Marta Kostiuk in the semi-finals while Rybakina overcame Jasmine Paolini 6-3, 5-7, 6-3 to advance. Sky Sports will broadcast more live tennis than anywhere else in 2024, including on its dedicated tennis channel, bringing over 4,000 matches from more than 80 tournaments a year on the ATP and WTA tours, plus full coverage of the US Open exclusively live. Non-Sky subscribers can stream live matches contract-free with a Now Sports Day or Month membership. Fans will also be able to follow their favorite players and gain deeper insights from both tours via Sky Sports News, the Sky Sports app and SkySports.com as well as via Sky Sports social channels.